very stable too, and it's very easy to assemble. But we're gonna get to that. We're gonna start out with something from Bell and Howell. It's an auto sanitizer and sonic soap dispenser. Let me tell you right now. Final quantity. So what I have here is the last of the last. This is the lowest price we have ever done. These are portable. Take them to the picnic, the playground. Take them to the kitchen, the bathroom. Take them to the office, wherever you want. It will dispense any liquid hands-free. I am talking about anything from hand sanitizer to face wash to hand soap to dish soap, whatever, that hygienic touch-free way. It is battery operated. It takes four AAA batteries. But I can tell you that, you know, if you are you go to the washroom and your hands are dirty, you wanna wash your hands, then you're holding this and you're turning on this and grabbing that. This is the way, like when you go to like fancy hotels now, everything is hands-free. This is the way to do it. And I do wanna mention that we also have available a 64 ounce alcohol spray hand sanitizer. That, that is available, I, we just got this back in stock too and our people have been asking about it. 718-883 is the item number. It's limited and we've got it for under 20 bucks. So $6.66 on FlexPay, we'll ship that out to you. But we're gonna introduce Chad Allen who brings us the Sonic Soap from Bell & Howell. And you know, the world is gonna change and the world's gonna change back, but one thing's never gonna change is we're always gotta keep washing our hands, right, right, Chad? <laughs> and our hands are dirty right. when we wash them, <laughs> so why would we be getting that dirty hand all over the faucet, the this and the that? It makes no sense. You know what I heard uh, Joy say the other day, and she was right on. I mean, she was selling her cleaner at Clean Boss, and she was talking about how she used to get in the, her car with her parents and she didn't wear seat belts and they just didn't know any better, right? And now we wouldn't get into a car and not put on a seat belt. It's just the way of life these days. And that really resonated with me when Joy said that. And I thought the same thing with items just like this, because we used to just, well, first off, did we even use soap? I mean, 20 years ago, I mean, really, I mean, now we use hand soap, we're very cautious, we're using sanitizer, we're wearing masks, all these things. And now we realize maybe, maybe we don't want to touch the soap dispenser anymore. Maybe we don't want to touch the sanitizer anymore. Maybe it's the face wash. Maybe it's the dish, um, you know, when you're doing dishes, you can put your dish detergent in here as well. Put it onto, right onto the sponge, right onto the towel. In fact, I'll show you that right now. Right here, uh, there's a pink soap in there. You can see it. If I just put the sponge, if I was going to do dishes, right underneath that, it automatically turns on and it automatically turns off. And look, there's the soap right on my sponge. The perfect amount to do dishes. Now, I used to have to really educate everyone on what this is and how it works, but we've all searched for these for so long that we know what these are. And we just have a great value today with a company like Bell & Howe. So what separates this one from the others on the market? Well, it is battery operated. You're just gonna put four AAA batteries right in the bottom, easy peasy. There's an on off switch. Once you turn it on the first time, you'll never have to touch it again. This silver cap right here, it's a cap because it's a fill top. You take that cap off, there's a silicone rubberized seal, and then you're gonna put all of your liquid right into this hole right here at the very top. So you never even have to pick it up if you don't want to. And it's that good old restaurant, first in, first out, because you're filling from the top, so your older liquid's on the bottom. It goes down through the bottom, and then it pumps its way out through the top. And when I activate it, do you notice the light come on? Mm -hmm. This one's empty, by the way. But the light automatically illuminates, and I can pull my hand away, or I can keep my hand there the whole time. What that means is you're gonna get as much liquid as you want, mm -hmm. you're in control. So if I put my hand there and pull it away, it automatically stops. In fact, I'm gonna show you that real quick, Helen, because it's important to understand that I could put soap on this, but the minute I pull it away, that light stops and I have my perfect amount of soap that I can wash dishes. Or if that were, um, I saw a lot of reviews about face soap because you could put your hand underneath there, get your face washed, and then rub your face and maybe you need a little bit more and you didn't have to touch anything. But like you said, maybe this, you know, maybe this COVID stuff will go away, maybe it won't, who knows? But we're always going to cut chicken, raw chicken, raw steak, raw meats. And you start to operate right here, perfect from the video. You start to handle those raw meats, the last thing you wanna do and I mean it, is touch the faucet, touch the soap dispenser. You really need that hygienic, 
hands-free operation when it comes to these things and the capacity before I, um, cause I know Helen, we, we have some business to get to, but, uh, before I talk about the capacity here is 10 ounces. Okay. It's an, almost 10 ounces. That's the same size as one of these. It's the same size as one of these. We've all seen these and it's about half of one of these gigantic, uh, you know, for dishes. So you're really going to get a big capacity out of this. You're not going to be filling it up every day. All you're going to need to do is provide the four AAA batteries and you're never going to have to worry about it again. Yeah, you know, when you talked about raw chicken, you know, I'll, I'll wash the chicken, then my hands got raw chicken all over them. So then I'll touch the dish soap to, to wash it or the hand soap. And then after I clean mm -hmm. everything, I have to take the container of soap and then I have to sanitize the outside of that because it has raw <laughs> right. chicken around it. And what, you know, this just putting your hand under it, I've got one here that's all, also um, empty, but just to show you that you, you know, you get that hand sanitizer. I think if you've got kids, it's really really great habit to get, get them into mm -hmm. like when you come in the house you could have it right when they come in the house you you wash the day away and then when they're yeah. touching instead of cleaning every single thing in your house like every doorknob just sanitize your hands on the way in and out just like they did on and, and listen they were doing this on cruise ship years and years ago is the hand sanitizer everywhere the touchless you're right everybody knows what it is and in airports and public places now more and more of the restaurants are doing that where you just hold your hand under something and then the, the soap comes out the hand sanitizer comes out and and you see the light come on and when I take it away it goes off I mean it's really really yep. simple it's a very pretty sleek design it can go with anybody's decor and you're getting two of them one for the kitchen one for the bathroom you know you go on a picnic have everybody you know use the hand sanitizer a lot of you know outdoor fun is going on so bring this put it on the picnic table you can sanitize your hands before everybody starts to eat this can be a forever thing we're getting super busy on the phone lines this is the lowest price it's ever been if you have eight dollars and 78 cents on any major credit card you can make your life life e easier and clean less because you're not picking up the soap and washing the outside of the soap bottle because you just grabbed it with your hands full of raw chicken juice, right, Chad? Exactly. What you're going to notice in the video also that you're looking at, it doesn't drip. There's a silicone seal. It actually pinches when it's done dispensing. It pinches at the very end. So there's no more drips. There's no mess on your countertop at all. You didn't have to drill into that granite or that marble counter. You're, there's no wiring. There's no electrician. It's battery operated. And I point out the two boxes because they come to you just like this, okay? Uh, Allison, producer Allison just posted her. Olivia is in kindergarten now. So give one of these to the teacher, and every time the kids come in to the school classroom, they're able to sanitize their hand. How about the church? How about the office cubicle? How about the office break room? If you're going to give two and it's going to be, you know, in these boxes, why not gift one to a friend or a family member that could really use it? But, Helen, you can never, ever go wrong when you're talking about a legacy company like Bell & Howell that's been around 114 years and in 99 countries. We have the best of the best, my friend. Yeah, and we have begged Chad to get more of these in, and he told me before the show, he goes, this is our final quantity. We cannot get these, we can't keep them in stock, and we can't get any more in in 2021. Because obviously nope. this type of item is something that everybody in the planet earth wants and not just usa everyone on earth wants this so the uh, the amount that we have that's all we're gonna have for 2021 yes for your kitchen for your bathroom i would get a couple sets actually so it's in every bathroom in the house plus the kitchen and leaving and coming in hand sanitizer and some dish soap in the other you know you can have your beautiful uh face wash from skin cosmetics in there you know whatever whatever you want your your um beauty spy items you know, you can have great skincare in there as well. So, Chad, thank you so much. I know that you have so many connections is how you were able to get this for us today. <laughs> That's right. And I didn't order any more because, quite frankly, I, I sort of thought the pandemic was over, but who knows anymore? <laughs> so I didn't order any more. But I will be back tonight at 11 o'clock with Shannon Smith with uh, Spin Power. So tune in at 11 to see us then. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. If you don't have